Hi, and welcome to Meetings in Math. You are here for section 10.7b, Operations and Scientific Notation, Multiply and Divide. Our essential question is, how is multiplication and division performed with scientific notation? Today, you will need your Jaguar Jots on section 10.7b, a pen or pencil. You may find multiple highlighters helpful today. A calculator could be helpful for some calculations, but most of them we're going to be doing by hand. Your bright ideas, your creativity, and always bring your problem solving skills. We're going to begin today by looking at some rules about multiplication and division and how they relate to scientific notation. We need to remember that multiplication is commutative, which means we can rearrange the numbers. And why is that important? Because it means we can multiply or divide the factors and the powers of 10 separately. This is going to be so helpful for what we're about ready to do. And then finally, we need to make sure that our answer is in scientific notation, which means if it's not, we're going to have to do some work to convert it into scientific notation, which means either making it into standard notation or using some rules about scientific notation and do some conversions that way. So now that we have our rules for how to do multiplication and division and some reminders, let's go ahead and practice and do some practice problems. We're going to begin in Jaguar Jots where it says example two, multiply A. And our first problem is two times 10 to the negative fourth times six times 10 to the negative third. And we're going to begin with the putting non powers together and the base 10 powers together. So that idea of multiplication is commutative, which means we can drop those parentheses and move it around however we want. So we'll have our two times our six that we can put together which makes it really nice. And then our 10 to the negative fourth and our 10 to the negative third, which we can put together as well, which makes that really nice because we can, we know what to do with those things. So two times six is 12. And then when we are multiplying our powers, remember that you add the exponents. So we're going to go ahead and show that we're adding the exponents to make sure we're showing our work. And we're very clear to whoever is reading this with us understands how we're getting our answers. Because remember, we want to write down how we get our answers so that it's clear to everybody the work that we're doing. So negative four plus a negative three is a negative seven. So when we look at that, we get a little bit concerned because that's not in scientific notation. That's okay though. It's okay that it's not in scientific form because we can do the work to get there. Now, one of the ways I like to do the work is to go ahead and put it into standard form. So that right there, I put it into standard form. And now that I have it in standard form, now I'm gonna convert it back into scientific notation. So we know that to put it into scientific notation, that means that my decimal needs to go between the numbers one and two. Why? Because I know in scientific notation, the number in front of the decimal place has to be between one and nine. So I'm, I need my decimal to end up right there. So I'm just going to count how many places it is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I know that my answer is going to be 1.2 times 10 to the negative six, because I know it's negative six because it's a decimal less than one, but also because it was at negative seven. So it was just moving it over one place. Sometimes it's really easy to get confused. Was it supposed to be negative six or negative eight? And that's why I like doing it this way is because I'm counting it out and I know exactly what it's supposed to be. So now that I've done this problem, let's go ahead and look at the next one. And I'd actually like you to try it and then come back and we'll see how you did. All right, now that you tried this problem, let's go through it together. So the first thing I see is I have that seven and that three. So we're going to break that off into seven times three. And then the next thing we have is that 10 squared and that 10 to the fifth. And so we'll break that off. And now we'll multiply those two pieces separately. So two, seven times three is 21. And then that 10 squared times 10 to the fifth, I'm gonna add those exponents. And I'm gonna show adding those exponents. And so now I have 21 times 10 to the seventh. Now, it does get a little bit confusing. Is that supposed to be 10 to the eighth or 10 to the sixth? Because that 21 right there, that's not in scientific form. So I know that that's not in scientific notation. So there's another way to do this without expanding it and then turning it back. So without going to standard form and back to scientific. You can actually take your 21 
and make it into scientific notation. So I know 21 into scientific notation would require moving my decimal place one place. So then it would be 2.1 times 10 to the first. I know it's 10 to the first, not 10 to the negative one, because 21 is bigger than one. And then I could just add, say 10 to the first and 10 to the seventh, I know would then be 10 to the eighth. So those are two different ways that you can deal with moving that decimal place if you need to do it. So now that we did multiplication, let's look at division. We can apply a lot of those same rules straight to division. We know that we have factors, we know that we can break them apart, but we also know that when we divide, we have this idea of reducing or factors that can reduce. And so that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna treat these like factors that can reduce. So I'm gonna look at that 5.3 divided by four as a factor that's going to reduce. And so I'm gonna break it off into 5.3 divided by four, and then we're going to multiply that by 10 to the eighth divided by 10 to the third. And so now we have these two different factors that we're multiplying together, but really it's that number times the 10 power. And you can see already that the scientific notation is starting to pull together. So you can either do the 5.3 divided by four longhand with a um, long division, or you can use a calculator and I'm gonna use the fact that I've already done it. And I know that it is 1.325. And then I have 10 to the eighth divided by 10 to the third. So we know that when we are dividing our powers, we are going to work from the top down and we are going to subtract. So I have 10 to the eight minus a negative three. Well, eight minus a negative three is really eight plus three. So I'm going to get 10 to the 11th. And I didn't have to do any messing around with anything because I already had a number that was one to nine in front of the decimal. So I'm good to go. So division can be written like this as well. And what we have to remember when you're looking at a problem that's like this is it's still division, but the little division sign is really like a mini fraction sign. And so what it's telling you, whether or not you realize it, is that this is the numerator and this is the denominator. And if you can remember that the first part's the numerator and the second part's the denominator for this problem, it's going to make your life so much easier. Because what you're going to do is you're going to rewrite it as a fraction. So you're going to end up with 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 over 7.5 times 10 to the negative 2. And then you're going to apply exactly what we did in the problem before. So that's why I'm going to leave you for just a second because I want you to try it and then we'll check your answer. So go ahead and pause this and try that on your own and then we'll check. That's great. So hopefully you split your 1.5 divided by 7.5 and then your 10 to the negative three divided by 10 squared. So 5.3 divided by four is 0 0.2 and 10 to the negative three divided by 10 squared is negative three minus two for your exponent. So right now you have 0 0.2 times 10 to the negative five, but that's not in scientific form, but that's okay. We can deal with that. So no matter which way you chose to deal with it, you should have gotten two times 10 to the negative six. So that was multiplication and division with scientific notation. Pretty nifty the way that that works out. You get to apply a lot of things that you knew before to something new but it was old stuff to new stuff. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to explain to somebody how you can multiply numbers that are in scientific notation. That's it. That's what I want you to do. Explain to somebody how we can do this. Thank you so much for joining us and I cannot wait to see you in our next lesson. And remember, be kind to one another because we can all use some extra kindness in our lives. Bye for now.